Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus, and I wanted to talk to you about the latest news from Microsoft. So if you guys have been watching IFA, Microsoft's keynote in Berlin, uh, they showcased their five mixed reality headsets, and this is sort of the first time that we've seen all of them all together, you know, live for the first time. And they've got five headsets, so they've got the Acer, they've got the Asus, they've got the HP, the Lenovo, and the Dell mixed reality headsets and they will be released on October the 17th this fall. So that's super exciting for anybody who has been looking forward to the mixed reality headsets and they will be starting from $299. So that is incredibly cheap. They will also be doing special bundles. So it doesn't mean that you can just get the headset by itself, but you can also get the controller. So they've got some LED tracking system around them. They kind of look like stars and they've got a home button. They've got a front trigger, lower grip trigger and an analog stick and they'll be going in as a gift bundle this fall. So you'll be able to get a headset and the controller. So for example, I know that the visor, which is the Dell mixed reality headset will be going for $349 and 99 cents. And the controllers by themselves would be going for $99 and 99 cents. But together as a bundle, they'll be going for $449 and 99 cents. So that's about $450 for mixed reality headset with some controllers and you don't need any lighthouses or extra sensors. Having said that, Oculus Rift and HTC Vive have recently dropped their prices. So Oculus did a summer sale, so you can get the Oculus Rift and the controllers for $399 and the Vive, you can now get it for $599. So those include uh, sensors, the lighthouses, controllers and headset. So you can sort of see that there's slightly more expensive than the mixed reality headsets. However, we don't really know the quality of any of these mixed reality headsets. I'm guessing they've all got different specs for different people um, and different price ranges. So we're gonna be hearing more about that later. Do not confuse these mixed reality headsets with augmented reality and the HoloLens, even though they do use the same technology, you do require to have a PC that will be able to run virtual reality in order to get these to work. Now at Windows, they had two different lines. They've got the Windows Mixed Reality Ultra, where you'll be able to play virtual reality at 90 frames per second. So there's a higher spec PC that'll be able to play these virtual reality experiences and games. And then you've got sort of the lower spec, which is the, just the Windows Mixed Reality, and that will be able to play virtual reality at 60 frames per second. So that is sort of the, the kind of the minimum standard that you'll be able to run virtual reality as. So you can see that Microsoft is catering for different people with different price ranges, and they're offering various things. So that is actually kind of nice because there is now a choice. All of these Windows 10 mixed reality headsets will have Cortana on them with voice recognition and they will also have content adaptive streaming. I'm not quite sure if that means that it's kind of going to be like Netflix and that, you know, something on the home screen comes up and depending on what you're looking at or playing, they will suggest things for you. However, I have done a video talking about the latest content for mixed reality headsets, but I'm going to do a quick recap just for you. Microsoft have announced that they're working with 343 Industries to create future Halo projects. So that is super exciting if you're into Spartans and aliens and the world's ending and epic battles. So that's kind of exciting for the future. We're looking forward to some Halo projects on the mixed reality headsets. On top of that, we do know that Steam will be supporting these mixed reality headsets. We're not quite sure if that means that the developers have to go into their game and make it accessible for these headsets, or if it means that Steam will be giving a driver and all of the mixed reality headset users will be able to access Steam VR library and all of the experiences on there. We're not quite sure yet, we'll see what happens. And then I mentioned in the other video, you've got Jaunt VR's app where you'll be able to look at 360 videos and other content. And the mixed reality headsets will have titles coming to them sort of like Space Pirate Trainer, Super Hot VR, Arizona Sunshine, and many more. VR Focus will be keeping you up to date with the latest content that will be coming to the mixed reality headsets. But for now, we're all just waiting to hear what the specs are and how the games are gonna be adjusting themselves to the platform. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. You will hear the latest mixed reality and virtual reality news right here at VR Focus. And if you do own like a high-end virtual reality headset like an Oculus Rift or a Vive, what do you think about these mixed reality headsets? Do you think they'll be on par with what you have right now? And if you've never tried virtual reality before, you don't own a headset, do you think that these mixed reality headsets with Windows 10 is sort of the entry point and you're like, that's it, I'm gonna bite the bullet, I'm gonna get a PC, it's gonna run amazing virtual reality, and I'm also gonna get these mixed reality headsets. Let me know your thoughts, put them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.